What is up, y'all? Um, I am editing this video. It's the uh, Cosmic Fury Reaction Episode 4, which you already know that from the title. But uh, I am sorry this is being released so late. I went back to work with the intention of editing all the rest of the episodes. Um, they told me I was going back to my regular boat. I was not put on my regular boat. I was put on another boat that had our tow with it. And um, we worked and worked and worked, so I never got any break. I um basically worked and slept that's all i did uh then about a week ago i got put back on our boat we had to get it ready for coast guard audits and a whole bunch of other audits to get it running again it's our new boat um so we got that done i got home yesterday i'm gonna start editing everything right now um as i'm doing this right now sorry and i will get all the other ones i will concentrate on getting these uh, episodes out uh, episode reactions out um, quick. That way, um, you don't miss any more. So, let me go ahead and get you editing, and hopefully you enjoy these. What is up, y'all? My name is Bo, and I'm the Cajun Tow Boater, and today we are reacting to Power Rangers Cosmic Fury Episode 4. And, uh, to recap, the Rangers finally have their Cosmic Fury powers. Um, the suits are still growing on me. Um, like I said on the last episode, I'm still not quite sure how I feel about the, the pattern that makes up their armor. I do like the shields and their weapons. Their weapons look awesome. Um, and we left off with them going to uh, Levena. I think that's the name of the planet, um, where Mick found um, Zato's, uh, Zato's um, energy. So I'm interested to see if they find Zato to see this new planet. And I'm also interested to see um, what planet Zed said he wants to conquer. He said there's a planet he's always been wanting to conquer. Um, also interested to see how they get back, to, how the Rangers get back to Earth. Because the Earth is under attack right now. And none of the Ranger teams can use their Zords. They keep malfunctioning. Um, according to uh, General... Uh, Shaw from Grid Battle Force. So let's not waste any more time. Um, before that, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and give us a subscribe, give us a like. Um, and if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon. The link is in the description. And you can see all of these unedited. Um, you just have to have Netflix to watch it along with me. Or any movies I do put on there, you just have to have that movie to watch it along with me with the reaction. So now, let's not waste any more time and let's get to the episode. Oh, I like the new uh, starting. It's the same theme, but the new uh, how they show them in their Cosmic Fury suits. And that evil Blue Ranger suit that uh, Ollie's wearing at the beginning is kind of spoiling everything, but it looks awesome. I still can't believe. Okay, so Levena. That's where they are. I still can't believe it's been 30 years since Power Rangers started. I was just seven at the time when it started. This is where Mick's last message was broadcast from. He's got to be somewhere nearby. And Zato. <laughs> I guess they're just backup dancers. They want to fight or dance? Because it looks like they're more dan they're dancing more than. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> no dancing. <laughs> That'd be like Ollie. And that big one in the back kind of looks like uh, the way he fell whenever Holly yelled. Kind of reminds me of my kid whenever we had to fuss at him. We do? When we're done with the Rangers, then we can enjoy destroying Levina. Yeah. Lord Zed will be very pleased. Now get hunting! I just noticed his sword changed too. That looks awesome. Uh, that's gotta be Mick. Just the the hair on top of it. I don't think it's a scarf. It's not a boulder either. Oh, yep. Definitely Mick. I know that stupid hairdo from anywhere. Stupid. Had it trimmed last week. That's funny. 
Maybe it is a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, he was going to morph, huh? We're not gonna let you morph. I like I like his sword though. Oh, there's the swords. Damn they quick. Who left the shields down? He did. Oops. Having a good day. I was napping, really. <laughs> All right, so that was actually funny. It's terrible. You're terrible. I really, really like Mick. Then little Zeta won't have a friend in the world. More Sentinels. So now he said destroy. He didn't say, say kill or anything like that. So, dude, that morpher looks awesome, actually. The way, like the dark bluish. Because he seems to be darker blue than he usually is. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. They didn't do that on the last one. They just stuck it in there. So I like the way they do that. It's it's kind of weird to me that Billy said I kept the dinosaur motif whenever none of the Zords, the new Zords, have the dinosaur motif. But... It goes along with how Mighty Morphin, they kept their dinosaur costumes, they never changed anything, and they had Wolf Zord and Frog Zord and stuff like that. Black Ranger. Uh. And Thunder Zord. Uh-oh. It's courtesy of Billy hooking us up to the grid. <laughs> and they got you new weapons? That's it. I'm canceling Scrozzle's vacation. Why does he have weapons like Xena? The Chakras, I think that's what she called him. Red doesn't suit you! Well, bitter isn't a good color on you! Oh, the first argument. Oh, this is pretty cool. And it's also cool to have your first female Red Ranger in the in the TV show. That's an actual member of the team that didn't just come in for a couple episodes, like on uh, Power Ranger Samurai. A morpher and a blaster. It's a twofer. <laughs> it's a twofer. So the one-liners are a little cheesy and stuff like that, but it's Power Rangers. I wouldn't expect anything less. Dude, that Stego axe is pretty awesome. That thing is pretty sharp. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> that's the point. He's a slow learner. Now you never lose That was pretty cool. <laughs> Chompy boy. I like Ion. Attack him, beat him, celebrate. Not done yet. <laughs> hey, they said the title of the episode. Alright, so that is good. They're worried about getting Zato first. Levena is one of a kind. It only has one teeny tiny little city, and then most of the rest of the planet is covered in forests that... But you were asking about Zato. Ah, yeah. yes. Mick always over explains things. <laughs> Zato's cape. Where did you find it? Oh, it was flowing through the air. I did have to turn into a bird to catch it. It was the whole thing. Well, can you retrace <laughs> your... Your flaps? <laughs> Retrace your flaps. Now that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Did he have to do the crow sound? <laughs> right here. I don't see any flying clues. Maybe you should try looking down. Uh-huh. An impact okay. crater. If this is where he landed, he must have hit pretty hard. You think? But why is it still smoking? There could be more clues around. Uh, aha! Here! I didn't make turn into a dog and sniff him out. Landed, and then ripped his cape heading into the woods. Then that's where we gotta go. Where are they heading? Maybe it's lunchtime. Are you hungry? Hello? I'm hungry. I don't know about y'all. Broken. Zato must have come this way. Oh, fruit! Ow! <laughs> I guess the fruit's off limits. Okay, be careful, everyone. We don't know much about the plant that, right here. It, it kind of reminded me of the uh, Wizard of Oz when they go to take the, the apple and the, the tree slaps at him. Treeing. <laughs> Just trees, treeing. I'd be worried if the trees were slapping at me. Now listen to me. Okay. If we're clever, uh -huh. we can get the better of them. Uh -huh. And we will be Lord Zed's favorite warriors. That monster doesn't strike me as clever. Being clever never helped anybody. We need to exactly. kick their faces off. Snowdia, this isn't helping. Don't you tell me what to do. <laughs> yep, see, not clever at all. Completely useless. Yeah, I just left it like that. You know I haven't seen a single animal. Maybe I can eat this one. Makes sense because animals eat the foliage and the forest is trying to protect itself. And I like that Ion keeps getting slapped. They're aware. They are aware. I know what you're thinking, Jones. It's gotta be ghosts. Am I right? On any other day, 100%, but now I wonder. Maybe I can mind meld with it? You don't really think you can mind meld with a tree. So it's a whole forest, like a whole planet full of forest. It's like Ego on Guardians of the Galaxy 2. It's like the forest is all connected. Not thousands of trees and plants, but one thing, one mind. Zato fell through the portal from Zordnia. Thank God he was already dead, right? He crash landed here. He stumbled into the forest. And when he was close to collapse, he came across a glowing tree. I do like that costume that they, they made. Have much time left? And decided to help him. Vines drew Zato inside the tree. To keep him safe from harm as it healed him. We need to get to that tree. Now. The forest thinks there's someone on our tail. <laughs> <laughs> FC, that was actually pretty smart. Oh, no. What's wrong? Can't reach your teleport. But I guess that means you're all stuck. Thank you for the intel, though. <laughs> the, <laughs> the pausing in between stuff. The dramatic pause and stuff. One more ranger to capture. Now it's time to look for a glowing tree. Stay away from Zeno! What are you gonna do about it from down there, Ion? Bake a bargain cake? <laughs> Sentinels. Prepare the city squidro. The city squidro? That was rough. Thank god they were just robots, huh? Thanks for the hand force. What's the hold up? But that was that was pretty good, so it's an easy way, I mean they got to know the They got to know the forest by mind melding with it. Ion, keep going. You get Zeta, we'll cover you. 
on it. It's Megazord time. You down for that, Mick? What? Well, uh, have I ever? <laughs> Link to Morphin Grid. Ninja Spin. That's awesome. He, he's not just given the powers by the Morphin Master. He can actually morph too. The battle modes are pretty cool for the squid drills. That's a glowing tree, so. Are you in there? That's all, but did he have him by his throat? <laughs> to pull him out? That's. Is he dead? Again? Zeno! Oh no, okay. Why couldn't I read your thoughts? Maybe the Morphin Master is bringing me back change things. I mean, that could be what happened. They thought you weren't going to make it. Well, I feel great. Happy. Thanks for protecting Zeno. You're the nicest forest I ever met. You are welcome. Oh, Forrest is speaking, okay. Enjoy the time you have left. Wasn't expecting that. Did that tree just talk? You talk to it first. Zato's right, he did talk to it first. That's a little dark. So what do they mean, like, enjoy the time you have left? Now, Zato knows something. That's not what the forest meant, huh? We're into the city. Don't worry, team. I've got this. First I am a bird, now I'm in a bird. Anyway. Caca! <laughs> had to do the caca? Real fight. Swords combined! I'm actually starting to like this Megazord. I'm still not used to... I'm still not liking the whole like globe things, but I like how they use that to connect. I bet this move is powerful. That didn't look too powerful, it was just feathers. That's so good. You'll need more than feathers to be a match for me. My turn. Cosmic Shark Slash. Yeah, that was a lot better. It's going down, and I can't save you. I don't need you to save me. He's gone. Let's finish this. So I know they're not using a lot of the Sentai footage besides the um, Zord footage. So it is kind of weird that they have like that Sentai. I forgot which Sentai it is. Like their symbol or their logo. Oh, I thought pink was your color. But red really suits you. You're really okay with it? That's so good. I like, I like that Zato's okay with that. You stepped up to the plate and held our team together. See? She's taking the lead. I like that. I'm envious. You all look great. Love the new arm. It's cool, right? I just gotta remember to keep it oiled. <laughs> <laughs> like the Tin Man. <laughs> I like his belt. T-Rex Cosmic Orb. Link to Morphin Grid. Okay, that is pretty cool. Oh. T Rex Fury. Zenith Ranger. So Zenith Ranger, okay. Slick color, dude. Mm, but Zenith. Why Zenith? It's what the Morphin Masters called me when they brought me back. Oh, okay. So that that makes sense to use that. What? How? And what are you doing on an alien planet with us, friend? <laughs> I love how he asked the that question after everything. And I know I haven't been talking much this one, but it's just it's just been a different episode. What? I can't mind mail with Zato anymore. And the forest told him to enjoy the time he has left. That's weird, right? 
That is weird. See, even I ask question in this. Maybe. That's how that's how I feel, so. But like I was feeling, Zato is actually Eltar. Holy crap! That's the planet Zed wanted to conquer. If I remember correctly, from reading the comic books, Zed was from um was from a uh, Eltar too, and he's pitching a fit because the Z's look like an N for the ice cubes. Uh oh, What's he looks a little scared to tell him he failed. Welcome, boy, to my new fortress. It's the cherry atop my latest conquest, Planet Eltar. I've heard of this planet before. Wasn't your enemy Zordon from here? And this would only be... Yeah, Zordon's from there. That's... People perish. Now update me. I come with but that's his people, too. My monster team failed. I guess he doesn't consider that anymore. I... You failed today. Because That's how Zed always thinks. Like a ranger. But you're evil. Teamwork will never prevail. <laughs> Must forget. <laughs> I like how that's like the way your evil teamwork never works. Because usually teamwork never works whenever the the evil people try to use it. Well, unless you were the the uh, psycho rangers. All right, that was the end of the episode. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all, so that's the end of episode four, and um, I do like how it ended with Zed saying, teamwork, you're evil, the teamwork never works out for you. Because it's true, I mean, teamwork did work for the Psycho Rangers until they started getting overzealous and started fighting with each other. Um, you can't work as a team if one person, if everyone in the team thinks they're better than the other. Um, he thought like just like ollie's thinking he's better than the other rangers because he's thinking with an evil mind with a poison mind um it didn't work because the other the other monsters uh with well, the monsters thought that i mean all they wanted to do was dance and stuff like that so they really were not um we're not working as a team so it really didn't have teamwork what i'm wondering is what happened to the monster at the forest grabbed is it still there stuck on is it is it perishing is it like is it dying um did it die will it come back to uh to play another role in the next episode or next couple of episodes or something like that i was a little confused uh, about that because ollie just left him there um i do like zato's uh zenith ranger outfit i do like how his weapon is the morphin master um staff because i mean they didn't give him like a sword or anything like that he just has that morphin master staff it came to him um i do like the explanation they gave for um why he's uh, called the zenith ranger um which makes me wonder why the um morphin masters call him called him zenith um i was surprised that Zed said he's always wanted to conquer. I mean, not surprised. He's always wanted to conquer everything. But thinking about it from reading the comics, he is from Eltor. So that would make sense why he would want to conquer that planet. Um, from what I remember on the show and from the uh, the comics, he's his body's like that from the... Uh, The Zeo crystal, because um, he doesn't have he didn't have a pure mind, um, so I mean it's it's pretty cool. I'm interested to see where, like like I said at the end of every other episode, I'm interested to see where, um, where this goes. We got five more episodes left. I'm on going to episode five, and um, the Rangers have their new powers, which I love. They have Zato now. Um, I'm still trying to figure out, so they were converting the base into a spaceship. Um, will it work? Is that how they're going to get back to Earth? Um, I'm interested to see how, how, they, how that would happen. Um, is that the last of those uh, that worm monster that we saw? Um, when is Fern going to become the Orange Ranger? And... Um, I, like I said, I know from the... the 
uh, promotional steals that Ollie does become the Blue Cosmic Fury Ranger. So when does that happen? And how does that happen? Because if Fern becomes the Orange Ranger before, that's all six morphers right there. So how is that going to happen? Um, another question I have is, what is Zato hiding? Does he know that uh, his time is limited, or was he, uh, and that he's just, and he's just um, not telling the Rangers anything? Um, it's it's all like unanswered stuff that I'm hoping that the um, that these last five episodes do. Um, answer a lot of these questions they don't i mean because it's supposed to be like i said it's supposed to be the end of this uh continuity for power rangers uh, with this season um so i'm interested to see all the questions answered and i hope they don't leave anything really unanswered now they could end up doing like a multiverse type of thing and whenever they reboot the series um sooner or later they do them since that's what everything does now. They do this multiverse thing, and the Cosmic Fury Rangers make a make an appearance. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and uh, finish these last five episodes. So, if you look down in the description, you'll find my uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. You can find me on there. You can um, follow me. You can message me. Uh, talk to me on there. You can also find my Patreon. Go ahead and uh, if you want to support me, go ahead and view that. You can see everything un uh, unedited on there. You just need Netflix or the movie that I'm uh, that I have on there to um, to be able to view it along with me to sync it up. But I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing. Just overall, thank y'all for everything. Um, and I will see y'all in the next episode.